Hey guys, welcome to Ham Radio with K Zero P I R and my YouTube channel. Well, I've got a new computer here, a new to me computer anyway. It's a uh, an alien computer made by Dell, and it's a great computer. It's fast. It's a little bit too noisy though, and I've quieted it down some by replacing a fan in it. That helped, but it's still a little bit too noisy for me. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep this or uh, replace it with something else later on. But it is, uh, it's lightning fast. Uh, so I've got it, uh, I got the uh, Ham Radio Deluxe uh, all set up and I've been using it, WSJTX. But I need to get LOTW working with Ham Radio Deluxe. So that's what this video is on. <laughs> Okay, well, I'm at the, the website uh, for the ARRL, and I can download uh, and install TQSL 2.6.5, and uh, it's got some release notes, and I don't ever pay attention to that. Uh, but what I'm going to do is, this is Windows, so I'm just going to click on Go Now, and it's going to download a MSI. Uh, let's go ahead and open it up, and uh, there we go, Next. And accept it next. I'm going to slow down a little bit. Uh, create a, a desktop shortcut. Yes, I do want to do that. Create start menu icons. Uh, I can do that. Puts it down on the start menu. I am, uh, this This has got Windows 10. So I'm on Windows 10 uh, Home, I believe. I don't think it's uh, uh, 10 Pro. But anyway, let's keep going. Next. And uh, it's okay. And click install, and it's going to install it. All right, there it goes. I don't need to read that because I'm going to show you how to uh, get it working. All right, uh, so we got it installed. If I go over here, uh, I can see that it's uh, right underneath the uh, recently added. So I'm going to click on that. And please review the introductory and documentation before using this program. Okay. You have no call sign certificate installed on this computer with which to sign log submissions. Would you like to request a call sign certificate? No, because I've already got one and I saved it. I transferred it over to this computer from another computer and I'm just going to install it. So let me click no. And updated QSN is available. Okay, yep, I guess we ought to go ahead and do that. That's done. Okay, here we are. Now, uh, the first uh, running of TQSL. I'm going to go to call sign certificates and I'm going to uh, load one. Just uh, click on that and go to downloads. That's where I put it. It's the P12. Click open. And it's loaded. I'm going to click finish. Yahoo! There it is. So for me to get uh, it over from the other TQSL on my laptop, what I did was I went to, I selected it, went to save the call sign certificate. I saved it and, uh, and transferred it over to this, uh, this computer. I sent it to myself in an email not a very big file so I need to set up a station location I'm going to create a new one here grid square got the grid square I'm not going to put the ITU I'm not going to put that state South Dakota there it is county Hughes so I've got that, and it went ahead and filled out the ITU zone, CQ, CT, CQ zone uh, automatically for me. I'm not going to be operating in a park just for my home QTH. So I'm going to click Next, Station Location, Home. I'm going to make it real simple. Finish, and there we go. Okay, uh, let's see. I'm going to go ahead and minimize this. And next thing we're going to do is set it up in Ham Radio Deluxe Logbook. So let me bring that up.
got HRD logbook selected. I'm going to hit connect. And there it goes. Where's the logbook? There it is. Now, even though this is a, a fast computer, it's still logbook in uh, DM780 and even a rig control. Opens up a little bit slow. And I think it's probably because it's a 32-bit program. It's not 64-bit. Uh, that's one of the, the, the problems, I think. But uh, anyway, let's move on. So to set up uh, LOTW, I'm going to go to Tools and then uh, down to Configure. I'm going to take it slow here. I've got a lot of new subscribers. And uh, my subscribers are in uh, their 60s, 70s, even 80s. And uh, they like it that I, I go slow and I try to, uh, you know, go along uh, at a speed where you can follow. So I'm going to go down to, uh, uh, let's see, where is Logbook of the World? Oh, it's not here. I know where it is. I know where it is. What I need to do is just select uh, some that I want to upload. I'm going to select these five. I know that uh, I haven't uploaded them. I'm going to go over to more. There's a couple of ways to get to this, but you can select more and then go down to LOTW and then upload. Or you can simply right click on the ones you have selected and then go to file then down to LOTW and upload and first time this window comes up it doesn't have anything in it. it's just got the default uh, a url earl as my brother calls it the earl url and username just my call sign lowercase put my username and password in there and then the next i need to tell it where tqsl is and it's not under downloads. Where did it put it? I think it's under, uh, well, it's under the C drive. And then I think it's under program files. Is it x86? So there it is. Trusted DQSL. Then we'll click on it. Oh, and there it is right here. So I'm just going to select that and then select open. So it puts the location in there. The station location is home. I wonder how it knew that if it didn't know where the executable was. Hmm. Anyway, I got those selected so I can just hit upload. Now that's the default location or where I'm saving it. So I'm just going to hit upload. And we'll see if this works. Boom, it's accepted. Okay, so we uploaded those. Let's let's do a download. I can go ahead and close that. Uh, let's let's do a download. I'm gonna go over to the toolbar and uh, more LOTW and download. And download from the last download was 6-30-2023. So yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and, and uh, download from there. And it's going to put it uh, in this location, which is the default. So we don't want to mess with that. Click download, and it's retrieving. Downloading now, and there it goes. Since then, so save to database. And then finish. That's it. Got LOTW select, uh, set up on uh, Ham Radio Deluxe. If you have any questions, please comment below. I appreciate the comments. Uh, anything that I can do to help you, please uh, don't hesitate. My uh, email is good on QRZ.com. And uh, that's it for this video. So, as always, thanks for watching. Please remember to like, subscribe, and share. Also, tell your friends. Keep coming back, 73 and good DX.